here everyone. It is a beautiful day out here. It is so nice when spring actually finally arrives. Apologies for the wavy salt and pepper mess. It's gonna be like that for a while. You know, COVID's going on. I'm not gonna be able to get back to my family for a few weeks and then I'll have my sister-in-law give me a cut. I'm not about to buzz cut it. I thought about it, but eh, you know, that's what lots of people are doing. Anyway, today I'm gonna go and do uh, West Stony Ridge. All right, can I ask us trail guide, volume five. My mistake is called West Stony Pass, number nine. And then you can see here, so I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go up that uh, top one there, at least that's the plan, all the way up to that junction with, uh, sorry. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, you know, I'm parked over here, I'm gonna walk the kilometer, I'm gonna go up the top one, hopefully up to here, the pass, and then back along this other road. Make a nice little loop. All right, so my first task is to walk a kilometer that way to the trailhead, shooting this from inside the car, because it's windy. It seems like such a beautiful day, and in Calgary it is. Hopefully when I get into the trees, it'll uh, calm down. Uh, so that's Junction Hill. I'm gonna be walking kind of underneath it. This was a road built for coal exploration, trying to get coal out of the side of that hill. The next time I come out here, I might try and do the hill itself because up there, it doesn't look too, too bad. So, or snow. All right, one kilometer down. So this started out life as a, a camp for the coal mining company. And then it became, at one point, minimum security prison and then a juvenile detention center and now it is a junkyard for Kananaskis. Well, you got your general pile of wood, another general pile of wood, big rocks and culverts and picnic tables and a lot of them look fine. So I think this is also like storage. Otherwise, I would say, you know, if K-Country is really junking these, that they should open up some kind of program where you can come pick one up. Because a lot of them will look like they'd be, you know, just in need of some minor repair. And you give it a fresh coat of paint, and away you go. Well, they got ample room to work with in here. All this is empty. old picnic tables man just give them away I wonder yeah and a lot of them don't look that bad quite the view from here this is uh, that is Gunnery Mountain Holy Cross Mountain well I feel like my little gamble paid off I downgraded whoa excuse me I downgraded my uh, clothing for today. You know, I have been wearing just a big jacket and a shirt, and that's, I mean, usually layering is the way to go. But uh, lately it's been like, in half hour, an hour, I'm all sweaty and stuff. It doesn't take long, so. Got my old T3 that I usually backpack in, a shirt, and then a light jacket. The only thing is, I don't have anywhere to put anything. I wanna take the light jacket off, this bag is basically full of snowshoes, micro spikes. This time of year, you want to be ready for everything, but it's hard, right? You can't bring everything that you might need. So you just do the best you can. One more storage yard. This one mostly has pallets in it. This used to be a playing field, I guess. And that's the beauty of the uh, Kananaskis Trail Guide. You know, they have all kinds of nice history in them, so you see what things used to be, which always makes it a little more fun. Here we go, finally out of the junkyards, climbing away. 
There's definite footprints, so people definitely hike this in winter. And of course, the wind has gone, so there's wind down on a highway above the valley. Never be discouraged. Get another tree, it's probably gone and it's just nice. I mean, you can see even up there, nothing swaying around. Well, definitely could use a little chainsaw action on this guy. The beauty of the Kananaskis, this area in general, is that it is super easy to work your way around things. It is just so open. Of course, as I say that, this is not the easiest part ever. But, you know, I'm in Jasper National Park. I am, like, definitely really trying to find something through the bush. This is so thick. There's where I'm going. Here's the intersection. This is the upper road. So I'm going to come back that way. Right now, I'm going to keep going straight on this guy. Now, well, it's uphill, of course. Walking through snow sometimes. You know, just walking on top of it. I'm out of breath because I have a big bowl of cereal for breakfast. And then Timmy's on the way out here. And that is not stuff that your body digests real easy. So right now I'm trying to digest a bunch of milk and climb an old road. Oh, it's not something that's great at doing. One thing I am learning is that in the spring, a trail will not hold its snow like a road will. Look at the forest. Right, very little snow. Look at the road. The road has half a foot on it in this section. Roads will hold snow longer than the forest will. Ha, ah, I managed to stuff my jacket in there. So now I just got my T3 on. T3 on and a shirt. Such a nice day, no wind. And I'm working, I'm climbing through the snow and stuff, so when you're working, your body is a furnace unto itself. The thing about this wide open country, which personally I think is wide open because it gets logged sometimes, is, you know, sometimes you lose trails. But when you come to something like this, just kind of do some left and right. And hello. All right. I mean, I'm not the only person who's had this problem, obviously. So one marked it. Well, this isn't going so great. Snow is getting deeper and I still have 0.9 kilometers to go. Somebody has still post hold it for me, but God, whew, just a matter of time, I think before they turn back, unless they're very resilient. Without these footprints, I'm not even totally sure where the road is. You know, it's pretty opened up in here. Oh, all right, well, I'm nowhere near quitting yet. Let's uh, carry on. So now I'm climbing up alongside this ravine. The, this trail, the lower road, actually is on the app, but it shows it 36 meters that way. Well, I don't think it's in there. It's supposed to be a road. I've been following these footprints. I only got the app and the footprints. It's certainly, uh, I don't mind carrying on. Still have like 700 meters. Whoever it is that stubbornly made all those post holes, really helpful to me, because then I just walk in them. All right, hey, look at this. I just put my foot right exactly where they went, then I don't have to bash through the snow. All right. All right. We cross this draw now, which the book generally describes, and you can see that kind of rejoins uh, that road up there. 
Again, the footprints, post holes, make my life pretty easy. Hopefully I don't break through to a bunch of new snow. But boy, end of April, you can see how much snow is left here. My goodness. Well, I climbed up and I got my first semi view of the day. Nice to see. Just a little one. Just the appetizer. Okay, you don't actually go up that thing. Like I was pointing out. Get a little higher and this is the first semblance of a trail. I've seen it in a long time. You come over here, the snow is a lot lighter. I actually see a trail. Such a luxury. Now oh, it's opening up a little. The book describes this. When you get to a meadow, go up here, swing right. Meadows are always a place where you can lose trail, all right? And on this end, uh, where is it? Somebody has uh, taped or uh, flagged, I guess you could call it. So I expect to find flagging up there. I lost the assistance of the post holder. He uh, went branching up over there and I think he went up this. I think that was his goal, which is not bad. Not a bad goal at all. Surprised that ridge isn't described in the book as a, as a hike. Okay, starting to open up. Starting to see Junction Hill up here too. Getting a better look at what kind of snow is still up there. Yeah. Not bad. This is kind of interesting. You got this very unnatural looking line of spruce trees or fir. I don't know. I don't know my trees very well. And this one here has a whole bunch of old kind of unnecessary trimming going on. Not sure from what. Not sure if the road goes over here or down here. But this will be much easier, so let's try it out. This side is the trail for sure. Been a lot of uh, trimming being done to keep this, you know, walkable. Holy. Oh. It's getting better and better. Well, you just don't know what you're going to get with meadow. Look up there, right? It is basically clear. Here, I sunk down to my thigh. So I have no choice. You can't uh, pull this hole up to your thigh. I've got snowshoes on. All right, I'm taking a bit of a chance here. Let's see what happens. By filming it, I mean. All right, I'm able to walk on top, thank God. Not breaking through yet. Apologize for the camera. I'm not looking at what I'm shooting. I'm looking ahead of me. There's a bit of an imprint in the snow. I mean, this has been walked, but it's been a while, right? So there's... Yeah, it's starting to break through a little. Woo! All right. Oh, all right, that was one. Okay, that one slipped a bit. That one too, that one too. All right, I make progress and it doesn't seem to be very far. Of course then, let's figure out what the next section looks like. All right. So you can see what that looks like. I'm going to put the camera away and use my poles. It's easier to keep the balance. Well, I'm through that. Onto the uh, non-snow, but I didn't take my snowshoes off because I knew I'd be back to something like this. And you can pretty much see the pass up there, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that lookout up there apparently is just a great lookout, not actually the trail. 
the road I think is in here someplace and then it will actually show me the uh, top uh, the uh, entrance to the upper road Woo. of course I'm still in deep snow I break through sometimes and other times I don't so when you break through it becomes especially if it hasn't happened like six seven times then it's a surprise right <sighs> let's see here not making it easy for me here how the hell is it well I missed whatever this trail was back there and took very hard way through the forest but now I found a trail thank god it's been a little bit of packed down so I'm not going to sink into two feet of snow anymore and now I can carry on the big basin that I was looking at is over here I'm heading to the coal to the pass over there this still isn't a cakewalk there's actually another way down. You go down there and up. Well, this is flat. Well, generally flat. I'm having enough problems with that. So, hell, if it's a choice of just going to that coal and not seeing all the trails, then just get there any way I can, you know? It's harder than I envisioned, like it almost always is. You just don't know what you'll find. There has not been snow in like 10 days, but this pass got snow. Like, look at it. And like, look at this over here. Look at the snow that's up here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Motivation. I'm working hard, but this is beautiful. Well little bluff over there is where I was standing a while back it's become exceedingly clear that I'm gonna have to come back I'm missing out trails that I wanted to hit that have like coal explorations and that sort of thing the snow is getting deeper and deeper and deeper I just can't seem to get past it and uh, look at this Look at all this loose snow up here. And there's a lot of snow. It's all fresh and it's hot. I'm in avalanche terrain and I'm by myself, which is never a good idea. I'm a bad example in that case. But I'm definitely coming back. I mean, I'm not gonna, I can't do that upper road. I can't do the trail that goes down there. So I'm unsatisfied. So I already know I'm coming back. And uh, yeah, I think it's time to, to be smart, put away the stubborn and head out. Look at this. This gives you an idea of the snow they got. That's bad. Look at that. It's all overhanging and yeah, it's time to get my ass out of here. I have arrived back to the trail. Here's where I came from. It's There is a flag in here somewhere, but it's so dim that it's actually pretty hard to find. Probably easier to find. In summer, you can get an imprint. Certainly now that my tracks are here, it'll help. Uh, I came in over there and went up to that coal over there. Saw the view. It talked about how you can go up that grassy knoll over there and get a great view. And you know, what else have I got to do? Why the hell not? I'm going to snowshoe over there, kick off the shoes, and then, uh, yeah, just enjoy. So yeah, like I was saying, that there is the coal. I thought that was the grassy ridge off the trail. But no, that's the grassy ridge. Look at the passing behind it. Look how easy it looks to attain from here. <laughs> oh well. You can clearly see the upper road here. I want to see what coal prospects look like. That's why I want to walk it. 
apparently it's supposed to be like obviously once you get down in here it's supposed to be mostly in trees but yeah I think it's safe to say Junction Hill also got the same kind of snow that I've observed which means that it's not a good idea for the next few weeks yeah, too bad I'm planning to go hiking again in three days and have to figure out something else All right, I've had a little break. Let's go see over this. I clearly definitely expect to get blasted by winds, so let me turn the volume down. I was looking at earlier is pretty easy to get to from here so I might as well go and check that out not bad this is all like the meadow I walk through so at some point I'll have to make my way back down to that Impromptu camp spot, or maybe they just made a fire. Can't blame them. Like, wow. Figure I could easily just bushwhack my way out of here. Look at these wide open areas. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I, I think I'm done for adventure. outstanding shots anyway yeah it's just a nice little descent through the woods now slipping sliding how would you know up at the pass that there's all that snow you know can't see this is freshly fallen it's just melting ice snow that's it You know, kind of a gruesome thought just came to me. This was a coal mining camp, a minimum security, you know, detention center, and a juvenile detention center. I'm thinking there's a few bodies buried out here that no one wants anyone to know about, especially from the coal mining days. Yeah, I know uh, reading about the railroads that, uh, they say that for every mile of railroad, there's a grave out in the woods. Anyway. Well, just a kilometer of road walk. And uh, I saw an old road in the bush. Starting from the, uh, the fire base. So I'll probably try that out just for, yeah, just for fun. I don't think there's a night base around, so I'm not sure why it's called day base. But there's definitely some old road going through here, so. Probably be not interesting at all, boring, but hey, you know, I'm an explorer, this is what I do. The ledge is still here because it's almost impossible to get rid of the ledge that you carved out of a mountain to make a road, but yeah. Big old cow bones, but you know, national parks are bad because uh, you can't find any. They do such a good job of cleaning up. You find nothing. You don't even find like you know old uh, hubcaps or anything. But uh, this looks much the same. I don't think I can find Jack. Yeah, well. Oh, the road was gone in seconds, and then I followed a trail up into here, and yeah, I'm not that high up. Guess I don't 
Usually when I do stuff like this, I end up finding uh, maybe some native prayer sashes. But uh, you wouldn't see those anyway. I don't, uh, I don't put those on camera anymore. I did a little bit in my early days, but I know better now, so. Oh, and uh, you don't put them on camera because apparently it's disrespectful. At least that's what I've read, so. Anyway, who knows if uh, whatever tribe hung them up even cares, but I mean, they're just sashes of trash to trees, so. Not gonna put them on camera anyway, really.